For creating the mechanic that limits our player from doing the same thing twice in a row, we're going to use an example in which our player cannot jump on the same platform twice. We'll start by creating a new sprite. In our sprites folder, right click, create, sprites, and a square. We'll call this platform. We'll drag it into our scene. And we'll make it a little bit wider so we can either click and drag with the rec transform or we can change the x value in scale. We'll want a collider on it so our player can land on it but also so that it can check when it registers our player's collision. So we'll click add component and we'll search collider. And for this example a box collider 2D will be the best fit. We're also going to change the color so we know that it will behave slightly differently from our normal ground. The last component to add will be a new script. We'll click Add Component and we'll call this Platform Script. Because we've not made it before, we can click New Script and Create and Add. Go back to our Assets folder, click and drag into the Scripts folder, and double click to open in Visual Studio. We're going to start with a Boolean as a new variable. We're going to make this public so we can test effectively in game. It's of type boolean, and we're going to call it used. We want to check when the platform has had the player leave it, so not when it enters, but when the player has left the collision area, so that we can turn used to true. So we'll create a new method below our update, but above this final bracket. We'll start with void, on collision exit 2D. We can search down that list and hit enter to auto complete it and it will register when we exit another 2D collider and it will allow us to determine what collider we've exited from. So we'll say if collision, referencing this object that we've collided with, if the game object that it's attached to has a tag that's equal to the value of player, then we're going to set used to true. Back in editor, we'll go to our player, and we'll assign it the tag of player, which has already been made by Unity. If we select our platform, we'll see the used Boolean here is false. And if we play the game, we can run up to it. And once we've touched it and left, you'll see that the Boolean has turned true. But now we want the platform to change its behavior based on true or false of used. So we'll go back to Visual Studio. We're going to add an on collision enter. so that we can register when we touch another object. We're going to take this exact same expression from the top. So we're checking if we've entered the collision of the player. And we're going to nest or include within another if statement. So we'll say if used equals false, or as a better way to say this, exclamation mark used, so this means if used is not true, then we'll do nothing for now. Else if means that we're saying an alternative condition and we'll say if used equals true or just used, then we'll destroy the collision game object. So this will destroy the object that is attached to this collision that we've collided with. In this instance, it will be our player. So if we go back to Unity, and we'll just remove some of these blocks, and we'll move our platform down so it's easier to see when we test. We'll move and jump onto the object. When we jump up, used will become true. And now if we jump back on it, the object is destroyed. We'll need to make sure that our platform is on the ground layer so that our player is still able to jump off of it. At the moment, the player won't be able to track whether they've used a platform or not. So we can go back to Visual Studio and change the color of it based on used. So in our update, we're going to take the exact same if and else if statement. We'll remove the destroy line. And if it's used, 
we will say get component. So we're going to grab one of these components from the platform. We want the sprite renderer because that holds our information for the color. And this is a built in method, so we need to end with brackets dot color. So we're going to change the sprite renderer's color to color dot red. I'm going to remove the final parts of this platform. I'm going to head to the assets folder, right click, create folder, and we'll call this prefab. Then I'm going to drag and drop the platform into this folder so that I've now created a prefab. So you can see here the item is blue. That means that I can just drag and drop this out. And you'll see it has the exact same script, collider, renderer, tags, and layer. Now we can see the difference between the two once we've jumped on one and not the other. So we run across and jump on. Now when we leave this, it will make used true, which will turn it red. And if I jump back on it, the player is destroyed. Currently, we have two if statements that aren't being used. So when used is false, either when we enter the collider or every update. And these are there in case you want to add any other facilities for your game. So if we wanted to enable a player to be able to turn platforms back on, you could use this in the same way to turn the color back to blue.